Welcome to Kitty Plays Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be the host of this episode. And you might notice something that I did. Yes, apologies are in order. I ran back to Aldrun, fetched myself some potions, and while talking to the lovely folks over at uh, Twitch that are currently watching this recording live, I forgot to start the recording and kill the Kaguti. So yeah, it did work after like taking the shield and starting shooting him from far away. It just did work. I basically didn't need the potions anymore. So all of this was, well, not wasted, but yeah, I'm sorry you didn't see me kill them. But anyway, let's head over. We are on our way to Gnesis. We have this dead beast. And I also concluded that I should level up my magic skills in the future. So let's see. Gnesis is over that way. Was it that? Yeah, that's the button to put these hands away. Actually, these are nice claws. It would be awesome if you could like extend and retract them. one more co comment because there is that would give away a surprise to someone I hold very dear who might watch this on YouTube later should have said that I'm going to say this in between in between episodes because I know that he won't be watching the stream I hope he doesn't judging from the time he could be awake it is wakey time in the US right now. <clears throat> well, anyhow, let's see. This is where we came from, Aldrun, and we want to go to Gnesis. And I'm going to repeat this every, at every signpost that we find. Just to remind myself where I'm heading. Because, you know, with my my age, you tend to forget things very quickly. I think I'm going to also use this this journal that I started to uh, note recipes that I found out, because it's the interface for for um, creating potions in this game is not that good. It's if you try to figure out um, the combinations that go together, you're actually they aren't highlighted, so you're like, scrolling over all the possible in uh, things, the, all the possible um, ingredients. That's the word that I was looking for, and um, checking if they actually have have an effect in common. Okay, now where should I go? This way or that way? The map says this way. Or the rough indication of the map. This looks like some... Okay, I think this is the wrong way because there is water here. And I should not swim through the water. Contrary to popular, popular opinion, I should talk a little bit slower maybe. Contrary to popular opinion, while being a cat, I am not afraid of water. I actually bathe very often. But it looked like on the other side, um, the cliff was too steep to climb out of the water again, so I didn't want to do that. And we're taking a long time to, to walk from one place to another anyhow, so... Did I walk in circles, kind of? Oh, oh yeah, I remember. I need to walk all this way around. Oh my god, this 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 takes a whole lot of time. Well, it is a pilgrimage after all, so um, this is some time to contemplate and um, think about how to live your life, 
for example, to be nice to each other. Like, treat others as you want to be treated yourself. And I'm not saying this... Uh, I'm not saying this to make fun of anything or anyone, actually. This is also one of my, like, the things that I live by. Um... I don't actually don't know an English term is I don't know if the term what comes around goes around is correct here but basically if you're nice to others generally they are nice to you and there is an anecdote to go with this actually so um, I have this pass for uh, for uh, um, the train and the bus here in the region and this pass automatically renews every month and I only pay like 10 months out of 12. So this is because I have an, like an annual subscription. Uh, I only pay 10 of 12 months. And uh, I have this plastic card. And um, basically what I do is when they, when they check if you got a ticket, I just show them the plastic card. They hold it against an NFC reader and it shows them the content of that card, which is my ticket. And um, is this one or two, this is, I don't think that I'm that I'm strong enough to withstand the attacks of these nice people, or rather not so nice people actually. Um, so basically, I don't need to do anything. I just ride the bus, and they ev everything is taken care of. And um, so one day they they did how you say a ticket control or a ticket check. I don't know. They they. Uh, asked everyone, you know, to show their tickets to see if everyone has paid their fare. I showed them the ticket, they read it, and they said, hmm, that's kind of weird, that ticket isn't valid. And I was like, what, not valid? That's that's weird. And they said, yeah, the ticket is invalid since, like, one month. So, if you're not aware of that, then there might be a problem on our end. So I'm going to print this thing, so when you don't have a ticket, it's... I think the fine is six euro. So it's like, it, it, it was this, um, yeah, I need to go all, or, all around this. Uh, I'm going to print this thing that you need to, um, that you need to pay. Oh, oh, this is going to be bad. Okay, let me real quick. Restore my magic me being an idiot and pressing random buttons doesn't work. When I want to restore my health, I should take the potion for it. So what I actually tried to do was this. And hope that the potions are not slower than... Blood. Take damage, I failed casting the spell. I'm out of magic. Yes. Ooh, that was close. And he was diseased, so I could have actually contracted a disease or something. I tried to real quick ready my magic because I did this. I should not have done this. So, always have your claws out. That's the lesson learned. Never retract them. So, they did try to check the ticket and they said it was invalid. So they printed this receipt saying I have to pay the 6 euro fine. But there is this, this rule that if you have like a long term ticket, like a week ticket or a month ticket or um, a year ticket. And it's valid and you just forgot to take it with you. You just couldn't prove that you have it. They just go there and uh, go to, the, to, the, like, to a central place prove that you had the ticket and you only have to pay like a like fee for for um, you say for when, when they work on things you know like just just a little fee of like seven euro or something so let's, let's just check oh no please can you help me my wife has been taken by cultists cultists you say yes I'm sure that's who they were we're traveling to visit friends near Alt Veloti when some men surprised us they cast me into a sorcerer's sleep, and when I woke up, Malexa was gone. They've probably taken her to perform some 
some unholy ritual to her. An unholy ritual, you say? I'm certain of it. Please, can't you help? I have very little to offer you in return. Only 200 septims. But I'm a member of House Redoran, and I will make sure to let them know of the help you have given me. Will you help? I beg you. Well, 200 septims actually aren't aren't that much, but I'm trying to be in character here. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to help you. I'm going to find Alexa and return her to you. Oh, thank you. I'm sure they've gone far, although I was incapa incapacitated. That's how you pronounce that word. I don't believe it was that long ago they took her. They've probably taken her to a shrine to perform the ritual. I believe there is one to the west. It's too horrible to think about. Please, hurry! Well, let's first... I mean, it's a ritual, and at least by rules of the Dark Eye... So if you could hurry this up. As I was saying, at least by the rules of the Dark Eye, rituals take a while. So, I think she will be fine while I'm walking to Gnesis. And continuing my anecdote. Getting interrupted by people wanting help. Really. So... The thing, being nice to people, I, uh, and, uh, you're rewarded by people being nice to you. Basically, I went to that place, just checked if I accidentally turned around. I went to that place where I needed to show my ticket with the, with the card, because you don't have the ticket. I went there, and for, first of all, I was really, I was, I got really angry. I got, I, uh, when I went to, it was because I was really angry. I was shouting because it meant I had to go there. It cost me um, work time that I had to. Can you see that way? Okay. Uh, work time that I had to uh, take off work. Well, this is. But there is something here. There is a silt strider. Let's go here, which because this means that we can silt stride back and forth from here. So there is a silt strider here. Um, so I went there, you know, for first I went really angry, I was shouting and, and um, uh, angry that I, that I needed to go there and, like, like, reduce my overtime, which I am, my overtime balance is negative anyhow, like, minus 60 hours or something. So I, this forced me to, to make more negative hours, basically. Or work longer. So I went there, which is right in the middle of Frankfurt. Okay, this is cool. Cool. Well, you know what? I should rest and meditate over what I've learned, which means level up. Which means I'm going to figure out if there's a bed here that I can rest in. Um, so I was really angry. Then, then uh, the prospect was like. In the best case, I need to still pay 7 euro, because they did something wrong. And, um... And this is just like... It's like a fisher... Place of fishermen. They don't have any inn or something. I think this is taking me to the extension pack, which I don't want to be at now. Okay, now let's, let's head to Gnesis and try to rest there. So the um, so I was angry, but on the next day uh, I went there before work. So I had to go there before work because after work they were closed. They would have been closed again. But it also meant I couldn't go to work as early as I was used to because by then they wouldn't have been opened yet. So I went there. Is this am I going to the right direction? No, I'm not. So I went there and um, had to wait in line and, well, by then I wasn't angry anymore, of course, or not that angry anymore. And I was going through lots of scenarios in my head. I was uh, kind of sneaking through here, going through lots of scenarios in my head. What could possibly go wrong, which is a typical thing of me to do. Um, and, and even sometimes can get me into, into panics over nothing. Or not full-fledged panics, but anxiety, anxiety, nonetheless. So uh, I was there, 
and um, I explained to the one what happened that that uh, out of the blue they told me that the ticket was invalid and um, I was on this uh, on this plan uh, um, this subscription that's the word I was on this ticket subscription and um, that they told me to go there because there could be just a problem with with the system and she put the ticket on there and her computer says updating ticket and then she said yeah ticket valid so she basically told me that the thing that that happened that's what i wanted to avoid actually let me first let me first try to fight them with with concentration of fighting that is Oh, and I was using the wrong spell. That's what I mean meant with concentrating. Okay, restore health. Restore health. I'm, I'm just hoping that since it's two different potions, it'll stack. I wanted to do this, actually. I'm attacking the floor. Knighty the Great Wizard at who attacked the floor. Well, I learned destruction from that. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do because she, she's, she or he, I can't actually see that in this window. if it's a male or female. But I actually thought that they would be pretty hard to fight. You can hear the growling of pain. Gro growling or growling? Your life's end is a I can't do anything. So the game didn't let me attack. The game didn't let me move. I was kind of, well, not paralyzed, but yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to disturb them, basically, because I remembered that they were hostile. No, I'm not going to. I'm neither going to go th uh, talk, talk you to, through this dialogue. I'm just going to real quick accept the quest. So what do you want? Nor am I going to rewind my anecdote. So I went there, t told the lady, what had happened, as I said, she, she told me that um, at some point they changed the way that they take the money from me. So normally they took the money 10 out of 12 months. Uh, so they, they didn't pull any money in December and January from my account. That's, that's what normally happened. And what they did change is that they would pull the money every month. And yes, I've been to their place, so I'm going to use the Silt Strider anyway. And it says pieces that way. Maybe we should... That's the wrong button. We should rest just in the wilderness. Because we want to meditate. Okay, so... That's hard because endurance, of course, means more health. On the other hand, I'm I'm more a magic user, so resisting magic would be nice. But this also, like the maximum fatigue, this of course is important, and the speed is very tempting because it says times five, so I get five speed points. Which means we don't need to walk that long anymore, so I'm going to use that. Let me drop a quick save here. I don't know if... I can't spot the difference in speed. So the, the change that they made is that they pull the money every month, but they only pull 10 12th of the, of the monthly fee. So they just changed the way that they 
pull the money, which for me actually is nicer because I know it's all, always the same amount every month. Uh, it's not that it's several months, like like with some insurances. They're just around the bend. That's so hard to notice. better because I'm not attacked by both and I have full uh, endurance, full, full fatigue. Oh, I am attacked by both at once actually. And I'm not attacking the ground, I think this is also a key, uh, key change. I'm actually going to wait here. Oh, there he comes. I'm constantly putting the this button. So, yeah, sorry, I'm concentrating right now. Maybe just do this for the kill me and should not just get a bit out. Put that in mind. There we go. Phew. I think I'm going to take this bow and arrows. And now I need to remember this the wrong spell. Enough magic, I'm not a problem. You know. You know what? I'm just going to rest. The reason why I use the Magicka all the time was because I... Until he... That's the button that I was looking for. There we go. So, let's see what they have. Mm, I don't think this is... Like, valuable too much. Well, this is 45 for a weight of 6. Just checking, like, sales value here. Okay. So, they changed this, and thus, also, some ID in my ticket has changed. I got, a, I did get a letter about this, and she said, in the letter it said that I needed to put the ticket on the ticket vending machine. Like, there is, you can use, you can either buy a ticket there, you get a little the paper ticket or you can put if you take if you buy a month or week ticket a single one there you can put this plastic card on and it'll it'll like write the ticket onto the plastic card via NFC so she said I just would have needed to put the card on the machine without doing anything just put it on and it would have said yeah updating card and that's it and it said that in the letter and I just read the I, I didn't read the letter fully basically she said yeah I'm going to file this and say that this was some kind of glitch on our side and if you don't notice anything so for, first of all she didn't know what to do basically she, she didn't know uh, what the problem was because the card showed that the ticket was valid because the ticket got updated and um, she tr and basically she wouldn't have needed to do much more she could have just said yeah it's your fault um, if, if the ticket didn't work, uh, after she figured it out, you know, it's your fault because you didn't read the letter. But um, since while she was trying to figure out what happened and uh, trying to find co colleagues to ask, I was she looked a little bit stressed, and I told her, "Hey, don't stress. I mean, there's nothing much we can change now anyway. I'm I'm here, and we're trying to solve this problem. So if you stress out, it'll just take longer." So take your time, if you're looking for someone, it's okay, I'm going to wait here. And this made her so happy, basically, that I, that I didn't, like, get angry at her, and as, as many customers do. 
but I just told her to relax and try to solve the problem and, and, and uh, uh, don't worry if it takes longer uh, because base basically takes as long as it takes and um, that she tried to be super extra nice to me and try to remove even this this fee that clearly I had to pay because it was my fault because it said in the letter that I need to do this and I pass by these machines every day multiple times. I could have just put, but, but I didn't read the letter fully. And yeah, she, she said, I'm going to file this as a glitch on our side. I'm going to describe, describe the problem. And if you don't see anything, if you don't get any letter anymore, you don't need to pay anything. And you know what? I didn't get any letter anymore. So I didn't need to pay anything. So this is, and, and I know from multiple people, especially when it comes to the public transit here in the area, they are complaining about very, very unfriendly service, and this is something that happens to me a lot. I mean, it might sound like um, like I'm boasting or something, but it's it really this is just me making an observation. It seems just that people seem to like me. I can't tell you why. The only thing that I can tell you is I'm treating people the way I want to tr to be treated. I'm trying to be nice to people, and I think that this is what happens. I think that this is working. So, let's save and check out the inside of the hut. There is no escape! So, no, no I didn't see myself. I want to take this person please. Maybe I also shield myself first. Um, a little bit patient with this game. Can't attack straight away after you do things. You need to be slow, I think. I think actually this game does what I sometimes wish with other games. It's them the attack button. It um, punishes you by making things extra. Okay, there we go. And my destruction skill. Rose again. No, that's too heavy for the price. Okay, close. Well, so since the sack is owned, these items actually are not are now technically stolen. Just so you know. Chest is locked. Let's see. Do I have a spell against that? This list will become a very long over time. No, but I have a lockpick. Controls again. There we go. Block too complex. Okay, uh, I'm not a security skill character anyhow, so yeah, that's not so bad. Let me just. I don't have anything here. Let me just jot that down in my journal. Journal. Chest in Annette's hut. North of Gnesis. There we go. And sorry, I always forget to do this. I only have two screens, not three. And back to Morrowind it is. Um, yeah, no. But I can do this. I can rest until heal in the bedroll because they are dead anyhow. Okay, let's go on. And yeah, it might look like I have a problem because I'm unarmed, but once I press the one key, I'm going to be armed again. So that's... I think that's it for this episode. The 30 minutes are up. And thus, I'm bidding you goodbye. And as always... Let's have the dice decide when the next episode will come out. Bye-bye.